Nisha and you are watching this video from JustTutors.com and in this video we are going to learn about fractions and in fractions we are going to learn about how to add and subtract mixed numbers. So going forward we will learn how to add and subtract mixed numbers using the same strategy that we were using in adding and subtracting fractions with different denominators. That means the fractions or we can say unlike fractions. But First, we'll try some warm-up questions. Here are the questions for you. To try these questions, you can pause the video. So basically, in this questions, you need to add and subtract these fractions. And you can see that all of them are like fractions. So the denominator remains the same. And we need to add the numerator or we need to subtract the numerator. This is as per the operator use. So in the first question, we need to do 7 add 4 which is 11 over 5. In the next question, we need to do 7 take away 4, which is 3. And the denominator remains the same, which is 14. In the next question, again, we need to do 7 take away 4, which is 3. But as you can see, the denominator here is 15. So we put the denominator 15 here. In the next question, we need to add them. So 11 add 4, which is 15. And the denominator remains the same again. And if there is a possibility that we can convert the given fraction into simple form. What we can do? As we can see, 3 over 15. Yes, we can find a common factor, which is 3. So this comes to 1 over 5. The next is 15 over 12. Yes, we can again convert into simplest form, which is 5 over 4. These are the correct answers. Now we move ahead and we are going to learn how to add and subtract mixed numbers. So basically, First step is to convert the mixed numbers into improper fractions. So how to do that? What the step one says multiply denominator with the whole. So 5 times 10. 5 times 2 which is 10. Now we need to add the numerator in it. So 10 add 1 which is 11. So this is a new numerator for the improper fraction and the denominator remains the same which is 5. So 2 wholes. 1 fifth is same as 11 over 5. This is a step 1. So, rest of the steps remains the same as you're working with the unlike fractions. That depends on the denominator here. If the denominator are same, we use the strategy of like fractions. If the denominator is different, we use the strategy of unlike fractions. Now, we go to the next slide, and in the next slide, there's a question for you. And the question says, two holes, two thirds, add with one hose and three fifths. Now, the step one is we need to convert the mixed numbers into improper fractions. So this would be 3 times 2, which is 6. 6 add 2 is 8. So it is 8 over 3 here. Add, it is 5 times 1, which is 5. Add the 3, which is 8. So 8 over 5. Now, as we can see that they're unlike fractions, so we need to find the LCM of 3 and 5. So LCM of 3 and 5 would be 15. So now what do we need to do? We need to convert both the denominators as per the LCM. So 3 times 5 is 15. So what we can do 8 times 5 and 3 times 5. And then we need to add them. In the next, it's 8 times 5 and we need to convert into 15. So that means we need to times it by 3. So that means 8 times 3 is 24 and 5 times 3 is 15. Now it is 40 over 15 and 24 over 15. Now we need to keep both the denominator as it is, which is 15. Now we need to add 40 and 24, which is 64. So this gives us 64 over 15. And we can further convert into mixed numbers, which is 4 holes, 4 over 15. And make sure the fraction that you get while converting into mixed fraction, that should be proper fraction. Now we move ahead. And we're going to try one question with subtraction. The steps remain the same. First step, we need to convert the mixed numbers into improper fractions. So while converting it, we get 41 over 8, take away 8 over 5. Then we need to find the LCM of 8 and 5, which is 40. So we need to times the first fraction by 5 in the numerator and denominator, and the second fraction by 8 in the numerator and denominator. Then we need to subtract them. So 205, take away 64, which is 141 and over it's 30. So this gives us an answer as 141 over 40. This means 
you get the answer as 3 holes 21 over 40. So here are some practice questions for you. You can try these questions and to try these questions you can pause the video. You can pat your back as you are really working hard in understanding how to add and subtract mixed numbers. That's really great and you can match your answers and the answers for these questions are here. So you can match your answers and you can even call your parents to show that now you are really working good in understanding the concept that how to add and subtract mixed numbers. Thank you for watching this video. For more, please visit justtutors.com.